Hi everybody, my name is Bailey and I am here with the YouTube series, The Million Dollar Etsy Shop. Um, this is another Jewelers Helping Jewelers Etsy Shop critique. I am personally a, I would, my humble self would consider myself an Etsy expert and um, I hope that through this critique I can not only help this designer but I can also help you guys as well to improve improve your shop and hopefully quit your job and you know or you know if not quitting your job at least supplement your existing job with additional income um great let's go ahead and dive in so this is tiny desk designs um she has been on here since 2012 and has had 32 sales um, i love reviewing these shots with 30 sales because they have proved that they can sell on here they just need a little nudge in the right direction so as you can see um, I like to critique this top section first because this is what your customer is going to see first um, so Valerie you have your name here which is excellent but your picture it does show that you're creative and that you like to do photography but show us your smiling face um, people like to see that you're a happy fun person um, you're actually a human and you can see you're a human here but I'm sure you have some some pretty pictures to put here to show everyone how awesome you are um, again, I mentioned this in the last video, this is not the place for your title. This little description box is a great place to put keywords about your shop. What do you sell? Um, this helps the algorithm uh, and helps Google find you. So tiny desk designs, you could be designing, do you design tiny desks? No, <laughs> but um, I mean, if someone types it in, they might find you. Um, just with your title, but we want them to find you because of your jewelry. So I would put something in here like uh, a keyword that's working, like we'll, we'll see what you're selling first. And then whatever keywords that I point out in this video, I think would be great for you to focus on and put here. You're only going to have about 20 characters or so, which usually is enough room for maybe two keywords. Um, and we'll we'll go in and see what I think is working for you. So another thing I like to do is to see what has sold. All right, so your designs and your heart are clearly in on your cloud designs and your raindrop designs. However, you're selling a lot of bullet cufflinks. Um, I know that this might not be where your heart is, but if you wanna make a lot of money, expand on these <laughs> I would consider um, selling you know different designs of this maybe set a bezel set a gemstone and the nose of this um, something like that so people could find you um, with those keywords um, yeah you don't even have you, there's no keywords in your title and you're selling a lot of these um, so I would definitely unless you're sick of making these or whatever um, I would definitely expand on this design it's working for you. You are selling some of your cloud stuff, that's just great, and I can help you sell more. Um, so we're gonna go back and figure out how to get you to sell more cloud pendants. All right, so this one's a little bit better than this one. You have a lot of title space and you're using the bare minimum. So you need to, and no, it's not as clean looking in your shop to have all of these words, but Etsy likes a lot of words. They want you to describe your piece in the title. So we're gonna help brainstorm some ideas. All right, first thing I'm gonna type in, because this is what you're all about, is cloud. Cloud slime, of course, that's not what you're selling. Um, so it looks like there's no jewelry related to cloud that are people are commonly looking for. So people might not be looking for cloud pendants, and that might be why you're struggling. Um, so you might wanna consider driving traffic with things that people are typing in, and then when they get into their shop, they're gonna be like, hey, that cloud pendant's cute, I'm gonna buy that too, or I'm gonna buy that instead. So I am going to help you focus on something else. So let's look at the, I would still fill up your keywords with other things. Um, there's not a lot of keywords that I would recommend because people aren't really typing in stuff about clouds, but maybe I don't know if this is like an emoji, like emoji necklace, that might be something that works. Like this is kind of like an emoji necklace. Um, so I know maybe it's not an emoji, but that might be a good keyword to use, emoji. Emoji necklace does come up. Um, cloud necklace does come up. I mean, I'd still include that in your title, but not a lot of people 
are typing that stuff in. So not sure, but I think lightning bolt will be a good one. All right, so I don't know how to spell lightning. Lightning, lightning bolt jewelry. Here we go. This is one of the most commonly searched things. So um, instead of, oh, next to lightning bolt pendant, I would do comma lightning bolt jewelry because this is how people are gonna find this pendant. Um, so what's another, maybe, did I spell lightning? Do the incorrect spelling too, because see, people are misspelling it. So comma, after those two keywords I mentioned, do the typo version. Um, lightning bolt without the E. Lightning bolt charm. You see here, this is, and then choker, bracelet, keychain, studs. So there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, this is, this is, people do like lightning bolts. Um, yeah, okay, so one thing that you aren't doing, which I'm glad that you aren't, and people might be tempted to do, is you might be tempted to say something like Harry Potter necklace. Don't do it. Um, anything that is infringing on any sort of copyright or intellectual um, data from any big company is gonna get you in a lot of trouble and you're gonna get your shop banned. So you might be tempted to say, hey, that looks like a Harry Potter scar. I wanna call this the Harry Potter necklace. You're gonna sell 40 immediately, but you are gonna get shut down, <laughs> so don't do it. Um, great, let's see what else you have going on in here. Some other, okay, raindrop, that's another thing I wanted to look up. Um, what is the stone in your raindrop pendant? Um, it looks like it might be resin. Oh, it's a, it's a chalcedony, so this is a keyword that needs to be in there. Um, so I'll show you why. Look at this ring, earrings, necklace, These, the, this keyword needs to be in this title. So does this keyword, this keyword, right? Um, and then you want to also say that it is a blue rain drop. Uh, I would still include it because you're going to need space. Um, even though it's not coming up, someone might type that in. Um, you could do blue chalcedony. Am I pronouncing that right? I don't know, but I would include this keyword. Um, don't include Tiffany for the same reason I said about Harry Potter because they will, <laughs> Tiffany will send a cease and desist and Etsy will not be happy with you. Um, so don't include that even though some people are. <laughs> All right. Um, same thing with this, this earring here. You've got, I think, Aquamar or Topaz. That's great. Um, you have it included in your, I have a eyelash or Think something happening. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Um, all right, so yeah, you've got your topaz in here, but no one's typing in this keyword topaz raindrops, but they are probably typing in topaz earrings, which might be a little too saturated, but we will brainstorm a less saturated keyword. So topaz earrings, all right, that's probably got a good jillion results and you're gonna have trouble competing. <laughs> Look, there's me. Um, topaz earrings, 30,000. You might be able to get up here, but you're gonna have trouble competing. Um, so I would consider what came up. So I typed in topaz earring studs. This is going to, or sterling silver, right? So this four keyword, long tail keyword, will drop their competition down at 10,000. That's still a lot for a, um, a shop that's not really off the ground. So how do we work this, right? Let me go back to this. Um, hmm. This is gonna, this is again, the, the reason I, I, I might still move away from this. I, I, you should keep this design in here, but I don't think that this design is gonna ever drive a lot of traffic until you really get off the ground. Um, another thing, I, I think I see some oxidation in here. I don't know if this is intentional or not, but I would try to figure out a technique to clean that up a little bit. Um, but I mean, don't worry about that too much because this isn't gonna drive most of your traffic, but that's just a small little thing that I recommend. Um, great, so I think this necklace could probably drive some traffic. Um, let me see, I typed in raindrop, I believe. Rain drop, rain drop, rain drop. All right, necklace, again, raindrop earring. So yeah, that's a good keyword. And let's see what else you have in here. Tie bar, tie bars are great because not a lot of people make them. Same thing with cufflinks. Um, tie bar and cufflinks. So let's look up 
tie bar, what people are typing in. Um, tie bar silver, tie bar set. I would sell those as a set, tie bar with the cuff links. So you can hit that key, keyword tie bar set. But as you can see, with no details about this at all, there's only 12,000 competitors. And I will say right now, 85 to 90% of the people shopping on Etsy are women. And what do women like to do <laughs> to feel less guilty about buying stuff for themselves is they like to buy stuff for their husband. <laughs> so they will, this is where they're gonna go to find something cute for wedding gifts. So see these engraved things, these are wedding and groomsmen gifts and stuff like that. Um, but not a lot of designers are taking advantage of this. So I do think a tie bar is a good place to be. Um, look up some of the key or personalized, maybe figure out how to, this would work great for this. I would figure out how to personalize this. And maybe that's not what you're going for, but the personalized market is a great place to be for opening price point jewelry. So I would consider stamping on the back of this. Um, the in groomsman initials or something like that. And then it could be $99 plus with or without engraving and with engravings $120 or something like that. Um, another thing I would do is, I'm not sure if you've already done this, but I would photograph each color independently um, and have three separate listings for each color. Just so if someone's looking for a black tie bar, I mean, I don't know, maybe because you have all three in this picture, it's fine, but I'm not sure, maybe maybe this isn't a case for this one, but um, I would take more pictures. Um, that's one thing that I think a lot of jewelry designers um, fail in, not fail in, but maybe they could improve upon is having more than one picture of your design. I wanna see what this looks like on the body. I wanna see how big this cloud is. To me, it looks massive, and I know it's not, because I can see the chain, but, um, I promised you the customers are not gonna read this. They're not gonna come down here and see that it's one inch. They're gonna, what they're gonna do is they're gonna buy it and then they're gonna message you, I thought it would be bigger, or I thought it would be smaller. I, I hear it all with the same designs. Um, so having another picture with it on the body, is a great opportunity to show how cute you are. You could take a picture, have your you know friend take a picture of you or use your friend as a, as a model. It doesn't have to be um, super professional, but um, yeah, and then I'd also like to see how long the chain is. Um, you don't ha you don't tell me if it's an 18 inch chain or a 20 inch chain. Um, choker necklace seemed to be something that was coming up. So is it a choker? Um, can you select different links? Oh yeah, so you have the different links here. So that that helps. But I would still in the description write option of 16 or 18 inch length. Um, great. So let's see what else we can help with. Um, I would. Huh. Cuff, cloud cufflinks. Um, again, all of your titles or most of them are just like five words. You need to fill that up with keywords. Um, I'm sure there's a gajillion cufflink related um, keywords you can use like groomsmen give. Yeah, that's commonly searched. Um, groomsmen, groom gift from the bride. Yeah, stuff like that. Um, you could do gift for graduation. Now these are huge keywords, but if you're out of space, you can use these highly competitive keywords. Um, I would try to focus on niche keywords, but if you're out, it's better to have something like gift for graduate on there. That's not even that competitive. For I would have thought this would be like a million results, 30,000. So I would definitely put gift for graduate on, um, these, the, the tie bar and the cuff links. Um, let me see, cloud, cloud jewelry. There are a lot of people competing in this and no one's typing it in. So yeah, I think um, I, would, I would definitely go back. I wouldn't put too much effort into this. I would leave them in your shop because people are gonna buy it when they get there, but you're gonna have a hard time competing um, especially at some of these price points, like this is really a shame. Like, I don't know how people can make that and ship it for free for $12. Oh, I do. They're not making it. <laughs> They're buying it from, um, the internet somewhere. But so yeah, you're gonna have $39 isn't bad. It's a, this is a good price point for Etsy and this kind of stuff. But for something that's really highly competitive and not very sought after, you're going to have a hard time. Again, I'll, I'll reiterate these um, bullet cufflinks. I think that's something that to consider bringing back. Um, 
I think that makes an excellent groomsman gift. Um, let me see what else. Yeah, do some keyword research, and I'm going to have a little bit of trouble coming up with it for you, but I think these raindrops and these stones are a good place to start, but um, I would really start exploring new designs that are highly sought after. Um, Lightning Bolt is a little bit more searched than Raindrop and Cloud, um, but maybe there's something else that people are looking for. So let's type in Pendant and see what comes up. Pendant Light... Lighting? Pendant. Oh, that's Fear House. I'm like, <laughs> they spelled lightning even worse than I did. <laughs> um, pendant necklaces for women. Um, pendant. Pendant necklace. Pendant with crystal. Pendle with stone. Pendant. Um, about charm. Charm with crown. Charm with date and words. See, this kind of personalized stuff. I would consider getting into the personalized market with these cloud designs. Um, so that way, when you flip this over, you'd have a picture just like this with the face of the cloud and then the back of the cloud. And the black back of the cloud shows initials or a date or a time or something that people want personalized. Um, that way, you don't have to change your design too much, but you can also charge more and you can hit that personalized market. Um, it is highly competitive, but when you offer something unique, I think that people, so let's say personalized, person, person zellied, personalized pendant, 130,000, it's gonna, you're gonna have a hard time with this too, but it's different. Um, one thing you'll notice with this personalized stuff is it all looks the same. That's how they can get it so cheap. Um, there's some unique stuff. People, when I'm, if I'm looking for a personalized pendant, I am glazing over everything that looks the same. I'm going to stop at things that are unique. So what's unique? This, this guy is pretty unique. Um, everything else is the same. It's boring and it's not quite what I'm looking for. Mexico, this is cute. Um, but when you have something like that cloud, it really stands out as different, which can, can do well on some of these competitive niches. So again, I, I'm hesitant to tell you to go into the personalized market right now because it's so competitive, but I do think it will get you a little bit more views on this. Um, and I would really consider, this is, this is a shop where I'd consider some new designs. I would look at um, things that Etsy's, trend, Etsy's featuring um, on their main page. We can actually go there right now and see what's going on. Um, shop the trends of 2019. Check out this page and see if there's anything that anything you can expand upon your cloud ideas with. Um, see, personalized and custom jewelry, but it's, again, a little too competitive. Um, and gifts, that's a little too competitive. But some of these trends, I'm sure there's something in here that can inspire you, and you can also start doing what Etsy thinks people are looking for. So this, I don't, I don't know if people are looking for burnt orange maybe, um, but when Etsy writes about it, they start typing it in. So um, some of this stuff, maybe, maybe not. Maybe you can do a sloth, right? Like if people are looking up sloths, I think that could be a really cute minimal design that's similar to your cloud. Um, I can imagine wearing a cloud on, you know, your 18 inch and then the sloth on the 16 inch or something like that. Um, they change this like every week. So this is a good place to find inspiration if you're not sure how to come up with new designs. Um, yeah. So hopefully it's a little helpful. Let me go back to your shop and see if there's anything else I can come up with to help. I maybe would do something more colorful here. Oh, do a banner up here with your designs. Um, maybe a cute little, like all the cloud necklaces hanging. Um, and this will make your shop a little bit more inviting. Um, I would change your sorting by type of jewelry. Um, instead of cloud collection, I would do like necklace, ring, earring. Um, because that's how customers intuitively want to shop. You have few enough items to where you don't need to sort by collection. Um, but if you did have 
500 items or something, it might be helpful to know this is where the cloud necklaces are. Um, but if you have a bunch of new designs, I, I still think having your like necklaces, um, necklaces, rings, earrings. Another thing is add free shipping. That'll help a little bit. Um, people hate paying for shipping. So if you can't afford it in your margins, then I would raise your price by $3 to pay for it. Um, it's not a big deal, not a lot of money to you, but when someone gets a checkout, it's going to cause them to abandon their cart. Um, all right, so I think, uh, again, this is kind of like Katie Cur Curan's shop, um, another jeweler that I reviewed who has really cute designs, really great ideas, but it's not something that people are looking for. And that's how Etsy works, is Etsy favors shops that have what the customer is already looking for. You can't convince someone you've never met to buy your stuff um, without talking to them. And you're not going to have an opportunity to talk to them. You're not going to have an opportunity to show it to them at a craft show. They're on the internet and they're browsing and they want what they type into the search results. So um, if you have designs that aren't being searched, um, I would definitely consider adding some designs that are being searched. And that usually is the easiest solution that sounds easy, but it's actually kind of complicated because I'm telling you to make something that no one's heard of or whatever, but um, at least start brainstorming and you know get those creative juices flowing. But all right, Valerie, I wish you the best of luck. Um, feel free to comment below with any questions you might have. Um, I have a Facebook group where you can ask me questions directly there and others can comment. And there is also Jewelers Helping Jewelers, which is another Facebook group that is great for asking professional jewelers for their opinion on various things such as customer support, supplying, getting diamonds, or whatever type of, whatever you need help with. Um, they will only accept you if you are a jeweler, but I figure most people watching this video probably are. Um, but it's a great resource. Um, great, thank you for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe. You will get more information tomorrow and the next day every time I post if you subscribe and subscriptions help me keep going. Um, I want to keep posting for you guys and I need your support. So thank you. Bye.